Hey, it's Aaron. Today I have a question from Jose. Jose wants to know, what is the difference between active and passive safety systems in a vehicle? This is a pretty good question. Uh, this is one that, as somebody who writes about and deals with cars every single day, I really don't think about this very much anymore because you, I just see a list of here's the, here's the stuff that's on the car and go with it. Um, but it's an interesting question because for the consumer, they, this can be a little bit confusing. The f best way to boil it down is if the system is visible to you, if you can actively engage with it, it's probably an active system. Uh, active systems work to prevent or to mitigate an, uh, an accident. And they can usually be toggled or controlled or overridden or otherwise interacted with by the driver. Passive safety systems only come into play when an accident has happened or when something has happened. And they are cold, totally in the background. There's little or no driver inter interaction or even awareness that they are there. So examples of these. Active safety systems include your blind spot monitor on your car, your uh, forward collision mitigation braking and stuff. Uh, the What else is there? There's the backup camera uh, and the backup system, so the backup braking or anything like that. All of those things that you are visibly seeing as you use them in the car, those are active. Passive safety systems, those are things like your crumple zones, the way the car crumples when it's hit so that it distributes the energy of the impact so that you don't get it. Uh, airbags. Airbags are a big one. Um, they only activate when they're needed and you have no control over that. Um, seat belts are a passive safety system. Now you have to actively put the seat belt on, highly recommended, but once it's on, you do nothing, it doesn't do anything really until something happens and it reacts. You also have uh, semi-active passive safety systems that are largely passive, but that are happening in an active way. Those include things like vehicle stability control, traction control, uh, if you're towing a trailer, trailer sway control, those sorts of things. Those are systems that you can actively probably interact with on some level, and you probably know that they're doing things, but you don't necessarily have the ability to shut them down or toggle them. There are some exceptions. Some sports cars allow you to go into like track mode or something similar where you're going to be in a controlled situation and you don't want those things interfering. But by and large, in almost every vehicle on the road, the most you can do is turn off traction control. Otherwise, vehicle stability and all those other things, those are still going to happen. Another good passive safety system that we've had for decades now and that most people don't think about but is it is required on every vehicle made now is ABS, your, uh, your uh, anti-lock braking system. That is a, uh, a system that actually powers a lot of other system active or uh, passive safety systems in your car. So not only does it keep you from skidding and drifting and get, you know, causing yourself issues as you stop, ABS is also largely, largely responsible for things like the body control for your vehicle stability, things like that. So really in a nutshell, to really boil it down, Jose, active safety systems are systems that you as the driver are aware of and can interact with. Uh, passive safety systems are systems that are kind of in the background and you probably have little or no control over them. That's really the biggest difference between the two. So there you go. That's all I got. This is a perfect question, Jose, for, uh, for the audience here at Drive Mode Show. If you have a question, if you have something you want to know that we can maybe answer, Kristen and I will get right on top of it. You can hit us up in the comments down there. Find us on social media. Try to tag us or get, a, get the uh, Drive Mode Show page on Facebook uh, or uh, where else we at? Instagram, etc. Um, email us, however you can get a hold of us. Uh, ask your question. We'll do our best to answer it. All right? That's what I got. Talk to you again soon.